So you recently had a launch and maybe it flopped or maybe you didn't hit your numbers and now you think now what? So in this episode, I would like to talk about how to actually look at your launch, at your marketing effort, at your numbers. We're going to have an honest conversation. Take a deep breath because listen, launches do flop. It happens. But more importantly, as entrepreneurs, what we should do, we should look at the customer and client research, market research, your messaging, and your marketing efforts. Because if your numbers are not adding up into your launch, or you don't see the sales that you would like to see, lack of market research, wrong messaging and positioning, and incorrect marketing efforts. So today we're going to dive into all of those uh, stages and we're going to start with the market research. So if you don't see the numbers, the first thing that you should do is to go back and make sure that you understand who you're talking to. What is that market fit? When it comes to your market research, most likely what you're going to find out Either you're not speaking to your customers, and we're going to talk about your messaging here in a second. It's going to be actually next. Uh, number two, uh, you need to elevate your buyer. So what was a perfect market fit, perfect market match in the past is not working anymore. So your people cannot afford your services. Now you're facing another issue. Yet now you have you're facing another choice. Either drop your prices or elevate your buyer. Or maybe uh, the market has shifted and your positioning is just it's just not hitting where your customers are at because people are changing, environment is changing, everything is changing. I want to pause here for a second. Listen, if you are in a situation where your launch has flopped, you don't see the numbers and you would like to have quick and easy to a way to diagnose the problem in your business, I put together absolutely complimentary assessment for online service providers. So if you're a coach, if you're a mentor, if you're a consultant, this assessment is perfect for you. If you sell, if you're a product-based business, if you sell products, that may work for you with like certain caveats. So try it out, see what resonates with you. But if you provide services, coaching, consulting, this assessment is for you. It is completely free. I will break it down and you like you will see what is missing in your business more importantly. So Grab the link. It is in the description for this video. It is in the comments for this video as well. Uh, grab the assessment today because you're going to see clearly why you didn't hit the, your numbers, what are you missing, and like more importantly, you're going to see the steps what, that you need to implement furthermore. Changing, like, listen, there's nothing constant in business. The methodology, the buying psychology that worked a year ago is not work anymore. And it's just normal. What we can do right now is to be students of our business. So start conversations. Start conversations with people to understand their pain points. So you can position, either you can position your marketing and your messaging, or you, or you could elevate your buying persona, or you can actually do improvements to your marketing efforts. So if you have no sales whatsoever, no sales whatsoever, no conversations whatsoever. I would advise to actually open up your calendar for exploratory sessions. Absolutely free. You like right now, what you need more than money is to understand your customer where they're at so you can make educated decisions. Either elevate your customer, drop your prices, or uh, do other messaging adjustments. So like this is really important. Let's talk about elevating your buying persona because in 2024, this is what I am seeing in the market a lot of the time. I would advise the vast majority of my clients that they need to elevate their buying persona and they need to elevate the people like that 
persons that that entrepreneurs or like their clients that they're talking to in ter- in, in, tr- in terms of their future clients so what happened like a year ago or two years ago right people who had credit lines to buy coaching services to buy consulting to buy mentorship they are maxed out so in fact if we look at the market research and how do i know that data if we look at the auto market 80 percent of americans are not able to buy cars why because they don't have discretionary funds to buy cars think about high ticket offer and similar car to either used or new cars, right? Like, because high ticket offers, they start from, I don't know, like $2,500 where probably you're not going to buy a good car for $2,500. But like, if you're selling offer for five, six, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, this is the price of new car. And 80% of Americans are not able to buy a car because they don't have the credit line to buy a car. This is significant data. So what it tells you, so people who used to have credit lines before, they may not be comfortable using credit lines or they might maxed out. A lot of Americans are. So what you want to do right now in this situation, you want to elevate your buyer persona. You can either elevate your buyer persona people who actually are willing to pay your prices and uh, can't afford your prices. But with that, you need to elevate your message or you can drop your price and serve your audience that you used to serve. But it's not going to be the same price. It is not going to be the same price because again, that those people at the moment, they're not in the market fit. So your offer, what, what was like, maybe you were slow and you were say uh, selling really well last year. Then maybe you raise your prices and you start going slow and steady, or maybe it's a complete mismatch marketing mismatch. So what was matching before is not matching anymore, right? So you have two choices drop your prices or elevate your buying persona there's no other way or like you may not you have another choice not to do business at all but if i were you i would think about how do i elevate my services and how do i elevate my messaging this is important so market research this will give you the data why people didn't buy either people legit don't have the money and the means to buy or your messaging is not hitting which we're going to talk about right now or maybe you didn't provide like enough marketing efforts so people can actually see so now let's talk about your messaging when it comes to launching and your messaging people um, make three maybe more crucial mistakes so let's like i have number three in mind right now maybe we have more like number one people don't know you people don't know you pay attention to that it's i'm not saying people don't know what you do people know what you do your career coach you are doula coach you have business strategies you are mentor but people don't know who you are as a person and remember people buy from people that they know like and trust people buy from people people don't know you people don't buy from you so what you how you can fix right now in your messaging in your seeding season when you're seeding the seed about your offer about your messaging you helping people to diagnose the problem you open up and you like you share your personal stories you story tell and you open up to people you gotta open up to people number two like when you are in the problem season when you ask people to engage share the stories similar stories like be vulnerable be openly vulnerable people don't know you people don't buy from you because they don't know you i can't stress it enough and another reason why people don't buy from you is either uh you don't articulate well the pain points you might put them in a transformation state in the desired state but Listen, you didn't create you you have not created the gap. So you didn't identify the pain points, but you put them in a dream state. And when it's just a dream state without pain points, it's just nice to have. So it's, it's equally important to speak about the dream state 
where they want to be as it is to speak about the pain points because pain points why they want to be there so they don't want to experience pain anymore people buy because they feel uncomfortable not because they feel good and happy and inspired people buy because they are uncomfortable so like that's that's another point either you are missing either you are missing the pain points or you're missing the casting division maybe you you had the pain points but you didn't cast the vision what it is like to work with you what it is like to have you in in, in their lives how are you different what is the what is the point of time when people make a buying decision and then buy your services in particular what should happen happen to that person so they buy from you again back to market research if and if you don't have that data go back to your previous client interview your previous clients see where they were in their customer journey so like because the more specific you are about the time and the point of time when they need your services and the pain points that they experience and why your services and nobody else's the like the faster the better they're gonna buy your service it's just simple as that so like that's that's the messaging so and the third portion and it's really really important and i'm making that mistake as well it is urgency it is urgency you have the pain point you have the uh, you, you have the dream state but you don't articulate the urgency why now and it's the right time why not in the next year? Why not a year after next year? Why not someday on Friday when I feel like to buy your services? Like, like urgency piece is important and is essential. And also, uh, I think we also often forget about the transformation. What is the transformation? Nobody buys coaching. Nobody buys consulting. Nobody buys your, like, I don't know, a package in a, in a one on one coaching, a package in this, a package in lending pages, uh, resume writing, um, I don't know, specific, you know, extra super duper special approach. People want transformation. People don't have a job. People want to have a job. People feel unhappy. People want to feel happy. People don't have clients. People want to have clients. What is the transformation? People don't feel satisfied inside. People feel like that they don't live anymore. They want to have that spark again. They want the transformation. They want the transformation. They don't like. Listen, for me personally, I'm coming to, uh, to the tail end of my uh, mentorship program, right? And I'm about to enter the market as a consumer, as a like, as a client. So, what is my pain point? I want to work with a coach one on one who will look at my business, for example, and like really pay attention to my business specifically and not get me confused. Like that's that's one of my requirements, for example, right? Like I want personalized attention. I want personalized coaching. I get the better results from that. And the like, and the transformation, like, I don't know, like, I want, like, I, I want to take my um, coaching business beyond 255 k. I want to, I want to get to standardization level, rather, right? Or like, whatever the level it might be. So, what is the transformation that you provide? It's really, really important. And uh, let's uh, finish up with the marketing efforts. Let's finish up with the marketing efforts. You might have all the components, but your marketing failed. You didn't promote your launch. You didn't promote during your launch. You didn't follow up with the DMs. You didn't follow up with the emails. And I'm also speaking to myself. Sometimes we think if we post it on our favorite social media platform, link, I use LinkedIn, I just started wrapping up on Instagram but I think I post it in stories. I post it on reels. But have you added new people to your um, network before? Like my point, I do conscious effort to add at least 
20 to uh, honestly only and I probably add 100 people per week in a way like more or less and I do extra extra work when before I'm launching so I have new people like with, like through my seasons through my content season so I'm seeding I'm probing and then I'm selling and people are in my ethos people come to my launches people come to my live streams one is the marketing effort if you're using webinars if you're using seminars like do people register how much time you how many times you pr uh, promoted your webinar and if you do live streams organically without registrations like myself have you invited people have you shared the replays have you messaged people who express interest have you follow up with people who engage and this is like this is all circular social selling so and a lot of the time you don't see the numbers that you want to see because either you didn't follow up because numbers are in the follow-ups for example like you have to be consistent with your follow-ups you have to establish those relationships so all right thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video bye y'all